Yeah, so uh, it's safe to say that you got the nerves of steel now. Like, nothing phases you. I really think nothing phases me. That's definitely true. I got I got nerves of steel. Um, I guess Dana White, uh, when he announced that I was in the, you know, this is it, and then it hit me, I fainted from that. But from that point on, I guess I got nerves of steel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, let, now let's talk about your uh, Filipino background. You uh, introduced Balot in the show and uh, really made it a point to um, show love to your um, Filipino Filipino roots. And I think that's really awesome of you. So um, let's talk more about that. Okay, uh, well, definitely going on the show, I, I wanted to represent the Philippines. You know, I wasn't born in the Philippines, but I pretty much was raised there every other summer. You know, I, I eat Filipino food, I train Filipino armies, you know. Um, so both your parents are Filipinos? Uh, no, my dad is American and my mother is from, the, from uh, Manila. Oh, okay. So it, I'm a half-breed. <laughs> <laughs> and you, um, uh, you said you visited um, the Philippines every summer? Uh, pretty much every, when I was younger I went all the time. Um, I was there last year too and I'm, I'm going back again in 09. I'm going in January. Wow, lucky guy, man. Yeah, so, yeah, bro, I can't <laughs> wait for that. <laughs> so, what places do you man. visit? I mean, um, which places do you go? Do you go to? And your favorite places? Oh uh, man, the last time I went there, I went to. Um, well, I'm in Quezon City, but the last time, you know, I chilled around the fort. I think it's called. Um, I went to a few clubs and stuff. I'm not really too much of a clubby guy, but I mean, if you're on vacation, you can't help it but hang out. Exactly, especially in Manila, man. Exactly. In the Philippines, we call that um, tambay. Tambay. <laughs> <laughs> right? You got it, man. Let's talk about uh, another big uh, fight coming up other than your uh, fight on the 3rd this Wednesday on Spike, your semifinal um, match. There's yeah. also another fight involving another Filipino on Saturday, Manny Pacquiao against yeah, Oscar Manny De La Hoya. Pacquiao. Oh, we got to set it up. I'm sure you'll meet him at some point because um, you're, you're an awesome prospect, man. I think you Thank could be one of those torch carriers in the future after Pacquiao leaves the game. Cool. Thank you. So, um, yeah, and um, lastly, uh, do you have any messages to your fans and everybody out there that's followed you? Any messages? I would say that, um, you know, dream, your, your dreams can come true, man. Um, if if you're reading this and you're listening to this, uh, your dreams are in your grasp. If you sacrifice every day and you focus and you, you cut off the things that that you don't need and you and you link up with people who you do need and you think positively and treat your body right, um, you know your your dreams can come true. It doesn't matter what it is. You know my dreams came true. My ultimate goal was to become a pro fighter and just train full time and make it to the UFC. And here I am, no better route. Right on. I started, you know, getting on the ultimate fighter. This is great. You well know, put, man. Even getting my nation behind me. Is that, <laughs> this is amazing. This is more than I ever dreamed. Oh, definitely, man. We are behind you. And you're a classy guy. I mean, I enjoy how you fight in the ring, but with you, how how you conducted yourself out of the ring and the, what I see from your personality, you're a class act, man. Thank you. And I forgot to ask you one thing, and yeah. I just wanted to throw it out. Um. Yep. Can you give me a prediction for uh, the next for the upcoming Pacquiao versus De La Hoya fight? Oh, definitely Pacquiao all the way, man. You think he's gonna yeah, knock him out? I'll be watching it and Pacquiao all the way. I my prediction is Pacquiao by decision. All right, man. <laughs> awesome. Hey, Felipe. Thanks a lot, bro. Thanks a lot, man.